Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime scene cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. Hey guys, day two here in Palm Harbor, Florida at the bio hoarding job. Um, we are currently focused on the hoarding portion of it. Bio is taken care of day one. Who's hungry? Well, uh, chicken wings. Hey guys, day two here in Palm Harbor, Florida at the bio hoarding job. Um, we are currently focused on the hoarding portion of it. Bio is taken care of day one. So what you'll see is we are focused on the garage as that's gonna be a staging area for any of the other items that the homeowner wants to keep or the homeowner's sister wants to keep. So we're clearing out that large area. The homeowner actually is donating a car to us because we also use Tampa as a training facility for all of our franchises. So you'll see a brand, oh not a brand new, a brand new for us, a uh, an older Chevy Suburban that is gonna be donated to us that we're gonna use for one of our biohazard trainings. Right here, okay. This is the largest toaster I've ever seen. <laughs> What was that, Steve? A satellite antenna? It looks like a, an antenna system for something. Um, you know, typically in these situations, we get a lot of tink tinkerers that, you know, they collect stuff so they can build and, and mess with stuff. The person that w was here that was part of, part of the hoarding situation was an electrician and liked to deal with a lot of different types of items that require electricity, and that one was a radio antenna, it looks like. Yeah. A saber. It looks like a uh, past military military history. Let me see that. Not sure. All you could ever need <laughs> in a single box. One. Not Christmas yet. This guy really took care of his stuff. Okay, take it out. No. Reindeer. Oh shit. Man.
that fire department. What is this? <laughs> it's a security camera. Holy <laughs> Oh my god, this is a blast from the past. What do you got here? A waffle maker. It's Holy coming along crap. good, man. We're making really a lot of progress here pretty quick. We should be able to knock this out. We still have the back porch to do and some of the interior of the house to do today. But at this rate, we'll be done pretty quick. E, maybe some, uh, some of my Grand and Poe in there. Hey. So I got myself, oh man, this old school Toshiba phone. Like, sit it, you sit it right there. The zeitgeist. Look at this. Look at this. Those stupid bolts. Four sockets, some vice grips. shelving down so we can get by here and we can put it back up but I'm gonna leave it the shelf here with the brackets on the ground too just so we can get through here. It's it's a legit Nissan product. You don't see that. Oh look at that. Full alarm clock. Alright. A burn cage. How nice. He held on to the birthday balloons. Those birthday balloons? Yeah. Wow, what we got here, Steve? It's a, an advanced universal remote. Looks like it controls a couple of different things in the house. Good thing. Um, it's pretty, it's, a, it's an older generation one, so uh, it's probably outdated and the software is probably no good anymore, but it's some pretty piece of high tech stuff. Oh, it's dressing. Oh, anybody want a beer? So, anytime we're cleaning out a house and we get these bug bombs, these are invaluable to us because we often have to deal with roaches and fleas and stuff like that. So. They don't, if the homeowner doesn't want them, we keep them, stock them up. We actually had to bug bomb our, our box truck with three bug bombs and we still have roaches. They pretty much laughed at us with the bug bombs. So we're keeping these, we got extra, we're gonna do it again. That's an old school now then. Save it. On that's old. It's not set. We're good.
I got tapping screw assortment. On the back side, it shows you all the types that there are on the tabs. So when you open it up, boom. Kind of like the assorted chocolates. You pick which one's your favorite flavor. It is. I'm not as good as fridge time with Fiona, but this is what's up with Wolf. We are now doing the refrigerator, okay? But heavy drinker, okay? But there's a lot of good items in here. Look at this. Some pickles. Yeah, man. Mm -mm. Total yogurt. Completely moldy and nasty. Mm. I know a lot of our viewers like to eat while we're they're watching these on YouTube. I hope some of this stuff is very yummy for you. Moldy, it looks like uh, seeds of fruit. So it'll be uh, yummy and tasty for you. So hope you guys do enjoy. Eggs are so old, they're sticking to the bottom. The egg. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Gotta dig it out. Oh. Meat. Let's see when this is uh, dated for. Mm -hmm. I button. I button. Uh. guys got a pot a little sign of mold on the outside here Let's check to see what it is who's hungry mm. chicken wings with extra seasoning it's blue cheese blue cheese <laughs> <laughs> blue cheese baby good for some reason the rats were behind the washer and dryer for some reason they little rat crap behind it what size do you think they are, John? Oh, that's got to be like a. I'm gonna say 15. I'm gonna go one up. They're 15s. Yeah. Yes. Look, ready. Steve's little baby feet. I could probably wear this shoe inside this. Boot. Dude, try. You should try it. See if you can. Ugh. I can <laughs> almost. Kinda. Oh, that's crazy. 15s. I'm uh, quarantined in the scene, man. It's a lot of trash, it's a lot of stuff. It's an unfortunate tragedy that happened to somebody, so we're just cleaning it up, y'all. It's what we do. So what do we got in the fridge, Steve? I don't know why, but we save our chicken wings and let them mold out in our refrigerator. Yeah. All of these. So, let you guys know something. So you see this, how do you know that it's bad or it's going old, It's getting old? Is it starts to swell up. I don't know if you guys know, but like milk cartons, they have a little circle here and when it pops out, that means the milk's going bad and you shouldn't drink it. Same thing with your containers. If they swell up, it's time to trash them. You shouldn't be drinking the contents in the, in the middle of them. Or inside. Black beans and rice. Hold on, hold on. Let's see what else we had to, for dinner. <laughs> a different stage of black beans. Starting to come soupy. Hold on. Hold on. What else we got? Mmm, yummy. Okay, hold on. Well, I got some up, something else for you. Eggs and mold. Makes for a hearty breakfast. Okay, let's see, let's open up another container. I have no idea what that is, but it has souped itself down to non-existence. Hold on, hold on. You guys are, are hungry. 
or you guys are ready for the end of your meal. I got a little bit of dessert for you. Making a lot of progress. You know, you got a lot of hoarders, man, and this, okay. is, this is the domino effect from the illness they have. So we were really like pretty much about well, I'd say probably like 40% done with the whole job. So hopefully we can knock it out in the next day or so. Just about say 19. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's all you, buddy. That's prime back territory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we all busted up. I wish I had my back at 19. Yeah. Try to get under it. Holy. Oh, hold on. I'll get. Is it get you started. There we go. All right. All right. Keep it from opening up. I got. Watch your step. This thing made of gold. Oh, that's really fucking. None of the bolts are in all the way. That's a little redneck ingenuity for you. Bolts are carpeted plates. It's got glass in it. Just the bolts. Just let it drop. Let it drop. Probably by the time you'll see this, it'll be April. It's late, late March. Um, but this uh, Christmas tree is still up. And this is a real Christmas tree. So it's still alive to an extent. Well, not still alive, it's dead, I mean. But it still has all its leaves and stuff on it. Oh, now I gotta figure out how to get it in there. I'm not tall enough for the tree. I don't know how to figure this out, but I gotcha. All the, tall, all the tall guys ran inside because they want to see me fail at this. So, this thing had a water line. It's kept it pretty well hydrated. It's probably why it still looks the way it does after four months. Olympus. I am on top of the dumpster. And yeah, move this shit and I'll cut as much of this as I can. Yeah. I'll probably get up to like here today. Okay. And throw the rest of that away. And then call it a day after that. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Alright. I got it. I got it. Two, three. 
Because the new padding just dissolves. Really? When water, when any liquid, this stuff actually absorbs. Really? Yeah. So like it looks like that. That's absorbed. Yeah. Which is nice because it comes right up. The new stuff, it's that looks. It's like it looks like that weird particle foam stuff. Uh -huh. It just it just dissolves and turns into a mush. Oh, so it's a pain in the. Uh -huh. Blah, blah, blah. So all this goes. What's up guys? End of day one here at the Horde. We got the garage entirely done. Um, we worked our way to the kitchen. We worked the back room a little bit, worked a little bit of the living room, getting the rest of that carpet up. As we go, there was previous bio on the carpet that we weren't able to see because there was clutter and there was so much stuff and big furniture. So as we move some furniture, we indicate we find our bio and we make sure we cut it out and properly dispose of it. So that's kind of our day. Tomorrow's gonna be the same thing. Tomorrow we're gonna push through the rest of that living room and then we're going to work to the back room where there's a big pile of stuff. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching today's episode of Crime Scene Cleaning. Don't forget to subscribe to our new channel, Talking Decon, where we interview some really interesting people in the industry, but we also have some great talks about prominent serial killers and really prolific crimes. So stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe to Talking Decon. For more information, visit any of our locations.